Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel, Kono Pro. We have a really cool video for you today. We framed up this mini house. Now we framed it up using traditional framing methods, and we framed it up the same way you frame up a traditional um, standard house per scale for someone to live in. So if you watch this video, you'll basically have the gist and the knowledge firsthand visual experience and I go over some tips so if you take notes and you watch this video a bunch of times you should have a pretty good idea on how to build a house okay so this video is basically all the wall framing interior partition framing and everything like that so please watch it enjoy there are some tips throughout the video and I did release another video that is the same video minus all of the verbiage and stuff like that. So if you'd like to watch this video without all the construction tips, feel free to do that on our channel, all right? Enjoy, remember, subscribe and like, share with everybody, okay? We want you to share with as many people as you can, and we'd really appreciate that. Thank you all, remember to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. That's called your bottom plate, and it's a moisture-treated piece of wood that can be in contact with the concrete, and that is a hole down that can either be a jable or an HDU, which is a heavy-duty hole down, and that's what basically holds your wall to your foundation. Now we're doing what's called layout. We're laying out where our windows are gonna be, door openings, and all of our structural framing. Now we're transferring our layout to our top plate so that way we can separate our top plate from our bottom plate and then just install of our structural framing members on the same lines. So you'll see the lines will be on the top and on the bottom plate and then you just line up the lines, nail them together and that's how you build your wall. After we have all our studs in, now we're going to install our header and our window sill, and then we're going to install our trimmers and our cripplers below the windows and above the window header. Now we're installing the header for our window in the bathroom and what a header is is that's the main structural member of the window. It goes on the top and then your windowsill goes in the bottom. The trimmers are the pieces of wood for framing that basically supports the header and the windowsill.
Now we're installing another header, but this header is over a door opening. And then we have our trimmers on the inside of the door opening. And the header is the same height as the header on the windows. And that's something you want to be careful when you're laying out a house or building any kind of structure. If the headers are all the same, that's pretty standard, but sometimes they do vary depending on design. But typically if your window opening header is at a certain height, then your door header will be at a certain height. So no matter what, there's certain guidelines you have to follow as far as door openings and window openings. There's a thing called egress, which is certain heights that the windows have to be built off of the finished floor. They have to be a maximum 44 inches. That way you can escape a room or emergency personnel can come in and help you get out. And then there's also certain standards for door openings, like a minimum exterior back door has to be 32 inches, front door 36 inches, um, and then height is usually 80 inches of standard door opening height. So that's pretty typical. So your header height would be around six foot, eight inches. So this structure is coming together really awesome and remember we're doing this basically the way you do a real structure you see right there we just applied an adhesive also below our bottom plate and then we tightened down our hold down there's our layout you can see our layout our king studs our trimmers there's gonna be a stud right next to that hold down that we'll have to notch which we'll install here in a second and remember everybody to share this video with everybody and to subscribe. Now we're doing our layout for our interior walls and these are basically going to be our bedroom and bathroom walls. We're laying the walls out and the door placements. Now we're about to install all of our bottom plate for our interior walls. And just remember everybody, any wood that comes in contact with concrete has to be treated lumber, treated wood. That means that the wood has been treated with a special chemical to prevent it from um, deteriorating, basically rotting when, when it's in contact with the concrete. Because concrete does have moisture in it and it will rot just standard wood. You can see our vents going up. You can see our layouts. We have our layouts all laid out onto the bottom plate. 
and then we'll do the same thing we did on the exterior walls we'll transfer all of our bottom plate layout to the top plate and then we'll build our walls there it is Now that we have all of our little mini interior walls all built and ready to get installed, we're going to install them with um, some adhesive. Typically you would have some anchors and you would anchor them into the concrete or you would actually have J-bolts set into the concrete as well in the slab process for these walls, especially if they were bearing walls. These are just going to be partition walls and they're not going to be really bearing much weight of the roof. So we're just going to glue them in and they'll be stationary partition walls. But typically, yes, you would anchor them or you can use a ram set type shot and shoot it into the ground or anchors, different things. But we use glue for our little mini build. <laughs> we're finishing up this last little exterior wall here and we're gonna plumb everything up and make sure the walls are level and everything's square and then we're gonna set our pressure blocks at our four foot height so we're gonna measure off the finished floor four foot and put a line and typically you use a chalk line but for this mini build it would just make everything red so we just do everything in pencil all right and then we're gonna start running all of our top plate wrapping this little mini build up right here as far as the framing goes on the walls where we installed our CCQs there those are little fabricated column caps that we made to receive that LVL structural beam that's gonna be on the next video we're gonna install that so stay tuned for the next video and remember to overlap your top plate walls with your adjoining walls you got it that top top 
top plate, the one on the very top, has to overlap your adjoining walls so that way everything locks in together really strong. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember to share with everyone. Subscribe and like. Kona Peralt, peace.